this is Jason from Solar Batteries Online. I'm um, here with Steve from BWD Solar. Uh, just talking about one of his larger Grid Connect installs. Uh, so Steve, you, when you um, put this together for the client, um, you had a look at their loads and their needs. They've got an Airbnb here. Yeah, that's right. Um, they've always got different guests coming and going. Uh, we had a very limited power supply coming in. Um, and we were looking at trying to shore up and have a secure power supply all the time. Yeah, because some of the outages here were like up to 10 days. Ten, yeah, 10 days. And the storm um, comes through this area, it's sort of at the end of the line. And that's right, and we wanted to make sure that running it as a business, that they, they constantly have power. Yeah, you don't really want Airbnb guests in there. No. Freezing <laughs> with no power. That's so, yeah. yeah, and um, we're just adding some more Gen Z batteries to this equation because he's adding some hydroponics. That's right, so yeah, the customer's looking at um, growing vegetables and that sort of thing as well, uh, wants more, more power. Uh, yeah. So we, we sized it so that we could increase the phase. Yeah. yeah, that's the nice thing about lithium is having that capacity. You know, get a larger rack than you need and then have that space to just add some more batteries in. So you've got roughly 20 kilowatts on the roof and two of the Fronius Primo 8.2s. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's running yeah, split, a split phase um, design. So we've got two uh, electronic battery inverters, the 482, so 7.5 kilowatts. Yep. Uh, one per phase. Yep. Um, one of these per phase. And we've got each one of these managing one of the Fronius electronic Fronius inverters. Yeah, nice. Um, so he'll be all set to go when the grid goes down. And... Absolutely. Yeah, nice. Um, so two of the four eight twos. Yeah. Um, a very neat install, I must say. Yeah, I think you're always learning um, different ways of going about installing, and just try and take those lessons onto the next install. So hopefully, you know, this, to me, this is pretty neat, but we can always try and get a bit better. Yeah, and you've got the select live for monitoring. That's right. Yeah, so we can do um, online monitoring as well as interrogation of the inverters. So if there is an issue, we can troubleshoot remotely, yep. which is very helpful. Yeah, yep. and you know, the customer loves it as well. He was in here going, look how much it's pulling in. That's right. Charging yeah, the no, he, gets, he does get quite excited. Yeah, he's all excited about that. And over here, we've got a rack for 20 Gen Z batteries. That's right, yep. Yep. so um, we started off with 10 originally. Uh, we're up to 15 and we're about to add another 5 kilowatt hours of storage. Yeah. Oh, sorry, another 15 kilowatt hours of storage. So we just brought some more batteries down here um, over with us to shoot this video and um, yeah, fill this baby up. 